Hello, it's Ruby and welcome back to another university vlog. So I started off this morning by replying to some emails. I had really been neglecting my emails recently and then I also wrote a letter to my cousin because we had been talking about book recommendations at the wedding and I just wanted to send a few through. Okay, so I'm slowly working through some admin tasks I've got to do today. Just replied to lots of emails and I'm just going to do a few more bits of admin just to bring me up to nine o'clock and then I'll actually get started with doing some studying. Then here I was just writing some notes for some giveaway winners and I went downstairs and quickly did the washing up. Then I just popped outside for a short walk. I went on like a 20 minute walk and posted that letter that I'd written. It was a really, really beautiful day and I do love starting my day by just walking. If I do this in the morning, I always feel better for it and have been neglecting it whilst being back at university. So when I got back, it was time to get started on studying, so I read three critical essays for my life and death module. Honestly, I am going to miss the access that the University of Exeter gives us to like all of these critical essays so much when I leave university. I use it so much in my personal life, I just know I'm going to miss it so much. I'm just walking into town and listening to Dave Hopfield on Audible. The first stop was the post office to post the packages for some giveaway winners and after that I headed to the library. I just wanted to change up my study location a bit and study somewhere different so I set up base here and I read one essay that I had been set for my life and death module again. This was another essay on the mother's blessing which I spoke to you about in yesterday's vlog or the one the day before. This essay was just situating the mother's blessing in the context of other miscellanies. The overall genre of this is the maternal legacy, which will be written for children and provide instruction, moral instruction. And they were often written like catechisms. So a catechism meaning a kind of predominantly Christian question and answer format. It gave some really interesting context about the Geneva Bible. And there was a lot on catechisms as well. I really love looking at texts as material objects and this essay was definitely starting to encourage that, which I really, really liked. I didn't stay in the library for too long though, because honestly, I was getting quite tired. So I was only there for about 45 minutes. And I did have a quick browse of the books, but I didn't get anything out, though I did request for a book to be reserved for me because that was one I did want to read. So then I got back and I quickly edited a university vlog, which was going up that evening. And then I had a nap, which is very unlike me, honestly. I think it's really important to listen to our bodies and make sure that we're not overworking ourselves because we can't work productively and be happy working if we are really really tired. I just had a nap and I can't even tell you the last time I had a nap but I've just been feeling really really tired since the wedding the other day and I couldn't really concentrate on anything so I took a nap at I think it was four and now it's seven so three hours. I also did lose my voice at the wedding if you can't tell, you'll be able to tell like in yesterday's vlog too that I lost my voice at the wedding. Um, I also sat in bed for a little bit after waking up and did two and a half critical essays for my life and death module. The ones that I started doing in the library and they're all done now. I need to write up the notes on those but I've made hate by headway which is good but it's nearly seven. So I think I might quickly write those up for dinner. I don't know. Also, can you see that tree? It's turning orange. So yes, in the evening, uh, we prepared some oats for overnight oats the next morning. We made some dinner. It was like this Mexican inspired bowl. I feel the unsubscribers. <laughs> okay, so if Blake is convinced you're going to unsubscribe when you see my bowl. <laughs> it's got peas in it. <laughs> Blake has added some peas out of See how much I'm valuing your friendship. If you haven't tried peas and yogurt, this is your call to do it because it's so good. And also we're trying the vegan Kit Kat for the first time. What's it like? 
Mmm. Does it taste like a normal Kit Kat? I've never had a normal Kit Kat. <gasps> Have you not? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's just, mm, mm. but biscuit. bad vegan chocolate. Mm, I don't know. It's like, it's just too much chocolate, not enough biscuit. Yeah. But I'm more of a chocolate finger girl. I don't think the chocolate's very good though. Mm. I think it's very like advent calendary. Oh yeah. You know? As opposed to being like good chocolate. Mm. But then again, it's Kit Kat like. Yeah, but Kit Kat chocolate is usually better, mm -hmm. I think. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> as with before, I ended that vlog so abruptly and I'm really sorry at how just convoluted this whole video is but hopefully you enjoyed watching it um before i round off today's video i'm just going to answer a question um as i said i'm going to try and answer a question in every video also yes i do have a sore throat but i have been doing covid tests um regularly it's not coronavirus um so someone's asked do you organize your studying throughout the day slash week in a detailed way I do like using daily timetables. If I have a lot of tasks on, I will create a daily timetable. Um, I use this timetable sheet thing. This is actually a pumpkin productivity one, which is gonna be released soon, which is really exciting. I've been using it a lot recently. Um, so I'm a big fan of daily timetabling when I know that I have a lot to get done because, I mean, Parkinson's Law, I know I've spoken about this before on my channel, but Parkinson's, Parkinson's Law states that a task will elongate to fill the length of time that you give it so by giving myself time constraints during the day I can make sure I'm more productive and I can get more out of that time I find that it gives me more flexibility ironically and it gives me more free time if I'm really really stringent with how I spend my time when I'm studying so yes I use a daily timetable on a weekly basis I will create a weekly timetable for myself as the term goes on but it's just too early in the term to be able to say that um, I'd say like probably third week of term maybe halfway through next week I will have enough experience with like the material I need to be doing every single week like how much reading I need to do critical reading like um study group tasks etc um once we're back in the flow of things I'll be able to see what I need to do every week and then make a timetable using that content so what I like to do is give myself kind of internal deadlines so for example I need to have like the core text spread by Tuesday of that week or I need to have read the critical reading by Thursday and it just gives me some kind of structure where I'm working towards a deadline so I'm more likely to get it done at a reasonable time as opposed to doing it the night before and then really getting stressed about it. Um, I think setting internal deadlines for ourselves can be really, really useful. I'll answer one more question. Do you struggle with the amount of workload you get? Honestly, third year workload has so far been more than I was expecting. It's not unreasonable and it's not unmanageable, but it's just more than second year and quite noticeably so. But I kind of I think I think with, with degrees, like kind of with any kind of studying, you can bring as much as you want to to the task. Like with English, we're studying one text for a week. Um like one week and it will be a huge text with so much criticism on it. And so if you find it really interesting and you want to do loads of work like there is a lot that you can do, there is a lot you can learn. The amount that I'll do for each text just will depend on how much um, I find it interesting. A lot of the work that I do, I kind of give myself, it's not like set work um, because I want to be making the most out of my degree and my time at university. Yeah, like sometimes I do get overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I want myself to do, but realistically, I know that I just need to take a step back sometimes and think like, what do I actually need to do? Um, and the other bits are extras. And I think when you look at it with that mindset of, necessary work and enjoyment work further further reading that can help well, it helps me to feel less overwhelmed about things that might be a mindset shift you might want to try adopting much easier said than done as with anything like this um thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you tomorrow with another university vlog so i hope that you have a productive week